Smooth Town here with a quick review. I am going to uh, be away for a little bit. I'm going to check out some medical things and come back fine. And we will carry on from there. But in the meanwhile, enjoy this. Hi, all. Spoo Town here. This time we're um, investigating and reviewing the Oathmark Human Infantry. They look really good. They're 30 multi-part hard plastic 28 millimeter figures. Battles of the Lost Age. I have not gotten the Oathmark book and not looked at the rules, but I wanted to get these just in case I wanted to do some fidgeting around for Frostgrave Infantry. But standing alone by themselves, it does make me curious about Oathmark. And anyways, you get uh, a pretty hefty box. This came in kind of banged up from the vendor on, on uh, Amazon that I bought it on. But oh well. Here's the back of the box. Nice little shot of you guys. Put together, painted. Looks like a good rabble. Ooh, whether they're part-time soldiers or professional warriors. Charging the enemy lines or defending their own position. Human infantry fight with the courage and tenacity no matter the odds. We'll see about that. Okay, this is by North Star and Osprey. Uh, nice. I've already looked at the sprues. They come six sprues on a box. Six identical sprues. You get the um, bases included, which is a big plus these days. I'm liking it. So the box is nice. Nice painting on the front. So Nick Erie's North Star, Osprey Game, Lost Age. Okay, so that's the box. Here's our basic standard square bases. Nice. Good. Oh, it's always appreciated. And here are the sprues. So you get six of these. They're all identical. Let's take a look at this. So you can see right here at the top. We've got some nice. Come on, focus. Let's get rid of this for a little more clarity. Had a light go out. Uh, uh. Okay, we're taking a look at the Oathmark sprue. Let's take a look at what we got. Looks like a nice horse's head for the for the staff there. You got a couple arms of swords. Looking helmeted head, more spears, kind of thick poles, kind of thick arms, it's okay. You get some bows, hands holding the arrows, some more bows, nice. Some quivers, very important, very good. Spears, hands holding the bow the arrows, nice touch, very handy. More um more arrows. Here's your shields are all the same. They're all square wooden ones. But I got a box of bits to dress that up. Here's the hands holding the shields. And these bodies, the posing is pretty undynamic. They're just kind of standing there. But you're getting five per sprue, so 30 figures. So that's not too bad, but they could have made them more more versatile in that respect, but they should be good. They're looking good for arching. A little bent forward there. A little straight forward. Okay. Here we go some heads. Nice faces. So that guy's looking kind of banged up. These guys 
are looking kind of excited. Not too bad. Nice expressions like the hooded dude. And then you get a bald head right there. You got your rounded cap, another hood with a mustache. Nice mustache. This guy's definitely looking good with his big stash going. And there's the bald guy. I like him. He's got a lot of character. So. And there's some more arms. You got a hand axe, a mace, some swords. Looking pretty good. So. Let me put some of these together and I'll be right back. So here's the oath mark put together one sprue. We've got a nice pile of bits left. Um, a little difficult trying to put together uh, archers with the arrow um, ready to fire. So I put together a couple of them here. They got the quivers. Everything's good there. So I put together a couple that look like they're anticipating loading. The standard bearer, which is, I mean, I like the figures, they have some nice character, but the poses aren't too da dynamic. Here's like the horse's head that goes on the uh, standard, and if you flip it over, it looks like they forgot to detail this part or decided to make it just wood. So, there's the backs of that. All together, they, as far as rank and file, filling up a good set of troops, these are definitely good. Here's like a commander. The shields are awkward because they've got just a set of arms that crook at the elbow. And then trying to get in there to paint the stuff is going to be a pain. So I'm going to paint the shields by themselves for the most part. Here he is. He's got a, a nice helmet on. Nice face shield. Nice figures. Anatomy wise, they're a little chunky. Here's a spear uh, carrier with the shield. You can see where the shield takes up a lot of the body. I can still get in there and paint it with this angle, but. So, again, rank and file. Good choice, a good buy for that. I haven't played Oathmark and don't have the book, so that's to be considered. And one more archer. Got him with the cloth cap. And he's got that nice mustache. I like him. They've got character. It would be nicer to have some more dynamic posing, some more intuitive kind of ways of putting these together. There are no instructions. And no numbers on the sprue, so you kind of have to kind of figure it out on your own. Here's as close as I got on another sprue to put together a, an archer um, drawing his bow. So I got to put the quiver on still, but he looks pretty good, so it is doable. And I'm sure there's a couple other poses that come with the arms. All in all, a good value. I got a sprue rating, I think, of 17.5. You'll have to check at the end. So, in other words, it's a good buy. Great kit for rank and file. Details are nice. Plastic's a little soft for clipping. And takes a bit to glue them. So, take your time with that. Otherwise, a good set. This is Sprue Town reminding you to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook. Hey, well, one of you guys get this bag off me, it's taped to my side.